Um, earlier today, you guys were in my arena and I sat with a student doing credit math. He's set to map for 29 credits. And it's not with the effort of him doing a large extra amount of work. Like at one point it'll require him to do like homework, which is something that you would see in a traditional school, but it wouldn't count how it would count here. Do you want to set up your homework thing today? And I want to make sure that the classes we chose actually make sense. Because I looked at it again yesterday and I was like, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. Um, um, normally I feel like we do a good job at looking at what the students have accomplished, but we don't necessarily take a really good look at what they have left. And so a credit map forces the students to kind of look at what classes are left and how can we organize that into a manner that will allow you to actually say like, hey, I can get 16 credits at the end of this school year, or I can get 18 credits at the end of the school year, or I'm at 22 credits and I really want to see if it's possible, statistically, for uh, me to graduate this year. Um, this is what we call a star chart. Every student has one, an old student, a new student coming in. Um, I'm not a senior yet, so when you're a senior, you will have, and you, you filled up all the, I think, these two rows, you'll have a big strip across called senior. Not every arena does it, but we do it so we can track our credits, our region, so we wouldn't always have to go to our teacher or our counselor. As you can see here, I finished my social studies, science, and math regions, so all those are checked off and it tells you how many credits you need for each subject. So as you finish it, you put a star on it so you can track it yourself. And so in this regard, like when we do the credit maps, it's like, okay, well, you said you wanna graduate in June. Let's actually see what plotting out 20 something credits looks like towards June. Is that a division between the arena? Is that a division between um, the learning labs? Is there electives? Are there pullouts? And then after we've done all that, are there still any credits left? Can we talk about doing homework? Whereas like homework here is like, again, we're working towards percentages towards a credit instead of percentages towards a grade. So the credit mapping is basically like maximizing the time um, the courses and the students like on personal level.